Plus I Hacko here. So I know it's been a minute since I got at you guys on YouTube. So today I'm coming to you with the YouTube tutorial on the beginning steps on just how to go about setting up your machine and what features are really on the sewing machine and what you really even need to get started. All right. Um, I use the Singer Heavy Duty. I think it's the 44S or 40. I don't know the schematics, but I'm gonna show y'all the machine. So this is my machine, okay? I use a Singer Heavy Duty machine. Um, any sewing machine really works when you're trying to make wigs. However, I started with the Singer. I started with the Singer Traditional, and now I stepped up to a Singer Heavy Duty. However, you do not need a Singer Heavy Duty machine, okay? You can use any sewing machine, all right? Um, so let's get into it. Okay, guys. So first you're gonna need a flat surface, a nice workstation, somewhere to work. I work from my home office slash hair studio, okay? Important parts to your sewing machine. And this is gonna be standard for any sewing machine. Your presser, okay? This is what makes the sewing machine work, your foot press, all right? It comes, it attaches with the cord on the side of the sewing machine. And that's normally what makes your machine work. Okay, this is this is just like a gas pedal. Okay, super important piece. Okay, now on the side of the machine you'll have a manual handle. Okay, your manual handle. This is what lifts and lowers your needle. Okay, your manual your manual handle. Okay, every time you sew a stitch, you always want to turn your man your manual handle forward because that's going to release your thread. Okay, so you have your manual handle at the top of the machine. This is your spindle, okay? This is how you create your bobbins. So let me show you what bobbins are. Bobbins, okay? Most Singer machines are gonna use a class 15 bobbin, but see your machine box and instructions to see what type of bobbin you require, okay? This is a class 15 transparent bobbin, okay? A little free game, you could get pre, made bobbins off of Amazon. These are a lifesaver with wig making. Pre-game, a little, little free game, free game. Okay, but anywho, this is how you create your bobbins. So you would take your bobbin, place it here, okay? And you will run your thread through the necessary mechanics. And by pressing on your foot press, you would create your bobbin this will start moving and it'll make the thread go around your bobbin. All right, bobbins, very important. Different bobbins come for different machines. Right here, I'm missing it, but this is a spindle. It, it, it has a hole for, for a spindle holder and that's like to hold larger um, thread, okay? But I don't use that. I like to use these. These come from Joann Fabrics, or you can order them off of Amazon. This is really strong nylon thread. When making wigs, you need nylon thread, not polyester, not nothing else. Nylon, nylon, nylon. Okay, at the top of the machine. And listen, sewing machines, they seem scary because they were scary for me, but they are super duper easy, okay? They're really self-explanatory. You always will have a diagram on how to run your thread through your sewing machine, okay? At the top, okay, so let's get back over here. I know I'm all over the place. This is your width. So this is how wide or how tight you're going to want your sewing machine to, your widths on your sewing machine to come out down here. For my wigs, I keep mine at about a five, okay? This is going to be the length of your stitch, Okay, I keep mine, my sweet spot is a three. To each his own, these are just my settings, okay? So please don't beat me up in the comments. These are just my settings. Moving right along, this is your needle position, okay? I keep my needle position centered, but you can either have it go to the left or to the right. I see no reason to ever really move this. I keep mine centered and it works for me. Tension. This is very, very important, okay? Depending on the type of stitch that you're using when you're making your unit, your tension may change, okay? My tension does change between a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. But for my zigzag stitch, I keep mine at about a seven and a half. Again, 
there is no wrong or right way. You have to figure out what works for you while making your units. This, these settings work for me, okay? This is your reverse lever, okay? This is a super important part of the sewing machine because this is how you're gonna secure your wefts. So I will be soon posting a uh, wig making tutorial, a full tutorial, but at the beginning of each weft and at the end of each weft, this is what you're gonna press to secure. So when you have your sewing machine, your sewing machine feeds um, from facing you, your sewing machine is gonna feed inward. Okay, so you create that security. This, once you press this button and press down on your foot presser, it causes it to go the opposite way. You release, it comes back inward, press down, causes it to go the opposite way. Okay, so you can really find any YouTube video on how to make wigs and you'll see what they use this for. I will be posting one soon. I do not have one, but I will be posting one soon. Um, coming on down the sewing machine. This is a open toe presser foot, okay? These are removable. Most of the time, your presser foot will look like, oh, excuse my hands. Your, your machine will come with a standard presser foot, okay? You can sew a wig with this. However, this open toe presser foot is gonna do and be so much better for you. I highly suggest that you invest in one. It does not cost that much. They are about $20, okay? An open toe presser foot is very important. On this type of machine that I have, the Singer Heavy Duty 44, I think it's the S3, 4423 or 44S3, your bobbin is going to be located um, at the bottom. So it's a drop-in bobbin. Like I said, different sewing machines are set up different ways. Some have drop-ins, some have front-facing, okay? All in all, the bobbins work the same. Please see your sewing machine instructions on how to feed your bob in through your machine. I will show that detail in my how to make a wig tutorial, but I just wanted to go over um, simple. I'll get that later, but anyway. I just wanted to go over simple settings on a sewing machine because I know with me starting out, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? And the things that I don't know, I wanna make sure that I post those items on my YouTube channel. This is a super short video, okay? It's not very long, all right? But it, it's just very informative on giving you at least the need to knows, okay, about a, a sewing machine. Okay. So other things that are going to be super essential in investing in if you are going to be sewing, um, sewing machine wigs, scissors, 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 good pair of scissors. Okay. These are the Fiskar scissors. You might see a lot of girls, they like the ones with the spring. These are the ones with the handle. Fiskar is like the best, okay? You don't have to have Fiskars because they are a little on the pricey side, but you're gonna need a good pair of, not hair shears, but like for material cutting and stuff like that. You're gonna need a good pair of scissors. Another very important piece is gonna be needles, okay? I use a variety of needles for my sewing machine. Um, I try to stick with Singer because I like to use, I like products, but when I can't find Singer, these are good. These are at Joann's. I can't, I don't really know the, the brand, but. Now, with the numbers, right? Heavy duty, heavy duty, heavy duty, heavy duty, heavy duty, heavy duty, okay? Heavy duty. I use 110 over 18. I use titanium universal. That's a 90 over 14. And then Singer also comes with like, this little multi-pack where you have like denim, heavy duty, and leather. Anything over a 90, okay? Any needle over a 90, you are going to need to be successful in, because needles pop, okay? I had to learn that the hard way, okay? Good needles will last you a long, long time. Bobbins. You're gonna need bobbins and you're gonna need a bobbin case, okay? These are, again, I use Singer products. I'm sorry, I just, just swear I don't Call me bougie, I don't care. But anyway, I found this at Walmart um, and it comes with, you'll get a case of um, the clear case and it'll come with the bobbins, probably in black and white or if you want multicolored, it's up to you, okay? 
um, and it's the clear transparent um, class 15 bobbins for my type of machine. Each machine uses different bobbins. So make sure you read your instructions. Don't throw your instructions away to your machine because all the information that you need is on there. As you can see, in my case, I have different colors, my blonde thread bobbins, my hot pink. My hot pink is my signature color. Hot pink and black are my colors for my company. Um, I have some white here, just some bobbins that I never use, and I have some black. And they have like this polyester type of thread on them. So until I need them, I may not never use them. Now, earlier in the video, you saw me show these, baby. You can find these on Amazon, a wig maker's best kept secret, okay? And I'm sharing a secret because somebody shared the secret with me, so now I'm going to share the secret with you. How about that? It's like $10 a case. They come, you can make about five wigs. I'm over exaggerating. Probably about three or four wigs out of one of these bobbins. They're worth the $10. Get them. Okay? I will leave this link in the description box below. Last but not least, thread, thread, and mo thread. Thread, thread, and mo thread. Okay, no, seriously. Nylon thread, guys. 100% nylon thread. It's going to be your best friend. You should not be doing any sew-ins, any wigs, any stitching with anything dealing with hair where people are going to pull at and scratch without nylon thread. Nylon thread is the strongest thread and it's going to be your best friend in wig making, okay? I like these spindles. I feel like this thread is strong, stronger than the beauty supply thread, okay? And I get these from Joanne Fabrics and they're probably about $2.99 each. This thread is just like goaded. It's super thick. It's thin enough for the machine, but it's super, super strong, okay? If you have a vendor, you check with your vendors because your vendors, sometimes they have really good nylon thread that they use to make their wigs as well, and they might sell it to you. Um, I have come across a few companies that do make really good nylon thread. This by far is some of the best beauty supply store nylon thread that I've come across. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's made by a company called Brittany Professional Jumbo Nylon. I will leave it in the description box below. Okay. I did find this one at my local beauty supply store, but you can find them on Amazon. This too is really good thread, like probably as good as the Joanne Fabric thread. And the Joanne Fabric thread is called Co Coates and Clark. Um, I don't know if this is a Joanne brand or not. Can y'all see that? Coates and Clark. But um, this thread is everything. I live by this thread. I have it in every color. All the colors that I use, the cream color for my blonde wigs, my hot pink for my signature, um, stitching like this, this is just, this is it, okay? I have a great grandmother. She's been wearing wigs forever, okay? And she tugs at her weaves and her wigs and she cannot bust the thread. That's how I know that this, this is Margie Ellis approved thread right here, okay? This thread is the go. Um, I think that's it. That's all you really need to start. Make sure you invest, okay? Investing in yourself is super duper important. Don't go out here getting no rinky dink bull crap because that's what your product is gonna be like. Invest in yourself um, and just take your time. Take your time, put time into your craft. It, it will pay off in the end, I promise you. Invest and take your time and it will pay off in the end. Um, I always wanna drop jewels, I always wanna give back. I'm so sorry for taking this long to give y'all another YouTube video. I have been super duper busy. I'm in the middle of transitioning out of the Navy. I'm also trying to get my business up off the ground. Like I'm moving, like I got a lot going on, but I promise, promise, promise you guys, I will be uploading more um, vlogs, vlogs, and I will be doing more YouTube videos, okay? All right, make sure you like and subscribe, okay? And make sure you hit the bell so you can know when I upload. And if you're not, follow me on Instagram, at Touch by Ty Hair Co. Boo boo. And on Facebook at Touch by Ty Hair Co. I am very new to TikTok. So if you're a TikToker, make sure you follow me on there at Touch by Ty Hair Co. Thank you so much, angels, for tuning in. I wish you nothing but love, peace, and prosperity. And peace until the next time. Catch you in the next one.